A car is moving along a straight horizontal road. The speed of the car as it passes the point A is 30 meters per second. The car maintains the speed for 20 seconds. The car then decelerates uniformly to a speed of 15 meters per second. The speed of 15 meters per second is then maintained until the car passes point B. The time taken to travel from A to B is 80 seconds and the distance AB is 1,590 meters. Sketch a speed time graph to show the motion of the car from A to B. Calculate the deceleration of the car as it decelerates from 30 meters per second to 15 meters per second. So it, drawing a graph, we only have to actually sketch it. So it's up 30 and it keeps that speed for uh, 20 seconds. So this is point A, that's 20 seconds. It then decelerates, but we don't actually know how long it takes to decelerate. So we just have to roughly put on our graph a deceleration down to 15. So we could put this anywhere along here and it will still be correct. And then it maintains that speed until 80 seconds have passed. So we're just going to put a value of t here that we don't actually know. So this is the point B. And it will be useful to draw that in in order to do the second part. So now we've got to calculate the deceleration of the car as it decelerates from 30 meters per second to 15 meters per second. So that's going to be the change in sp speed divided in the time. But we don't actually know what this time is. We've got to try and find it out. So, But we do know it travels 1,590 and we know that the distance is given by the area underneath the graph. So drawing the graph out again, like that, we know the area under the graph represents distance. So what have we got here? We've got a rectangle, so it's 20 times 30. Uh, the area of this trapezium, this is a trapezium, will be 30 plus this distance here, which is 15 divided by 2. Now, this height here is going to be whatever t is minus 20. And then we've got the area of this rectangle here. So that's going to be 80 minus whatever t is times the height here, which is 15. And we know that that area is equal to 1,590 that's given in the question. So 20 times 30 is 600. 30 plus 15 over 2 gives me 22.5. Still going to multiply it by t minus 20 plus 80 minus t. So 15 times 80, which is 1,200 minus 15t is equal to 1,590. So 600 plus 1,200 is 1,800. Uh, multiplying this out, we're going to get plus 22.5t. Twin plus, uh, minus 450, 22.5 times 20, minus 5, 15t is equal to 1,590. 1,800 minus 450 gives me 1,350, plus uh, 22.5t minus 15t gives me 7.5t is equal to 1,590. Subtracting 1,350 from both sides, we get 7.5t is equal to 240. And therefore, t will be 32 seconds. So that point there will be 32 seconds. Right, we can now use that to find the uh, acceleration because we can now work out the time that we needed for this the gradient here. So using v is equal to u plus at... The acceleration will be the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by t. So the final velocity was 15, or speed, and the initial speed was 30, and divided by the time, so the time is uh, 32 minus 20, which is 12, and that gives minus 1.25 meters per second squared. Now we need to be a little bit careful because the question actually asks for deceleration. So we have to give the answer as positive, otherwise you possibly could lose one mark in an examination. So note, we do not need the negative sign as a question asked for deceleration. 
So this has been a video to use a distance uh, speed time graph in order to find a deceleration, but involved finding a time as well. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.